Hello again. Um, I am um, I, to this week. I am. Oh, well, and this I should say that in this video, I'm going to be talking about just general MMA happenings for the week. Um, though I will, though there will be an emphasis on Strike Force, I am going to get around to like the UFC. Um, okay, first off, the uh, Strike Force card has an official name. It's called Shamrock versus Diaz. No surprise there. Um, a new development on the card is that uh, Jake Shields is now officially on the card, and he's going against Joe Riggs in a uh, welterweight championship bout. This is obviously to um, unify the Elite XC welterweight championship with the newly created Strike Force championship. Um, Jake Shields' per, um, opponent is Joe Riggs, who um, He's been fighting in Strike Force for the past for like I think his past four or five fights or something like that. Um, this is actually a little bit appropriate considering that Joe Riggs once fought um, for the UFC welterweight title against Matt Hughes. So, as I said, it's relatively appropriate. Um, the obviously the main event's still on. Um, Still no word on whether Nunes will be fighting Thompson or not. Thompson's still on the card in a welterweight bout. Um, the middleweight bout between Scott Smith and Benji Raddick still on. Scott Smith having recent, um, having been the last man to fight Robbie Lawler for the Elite XC middleweight title. Um, Gilbert Melendez, he's been on the fight for some time in a lightweight bout still against an undetermined opponent. Um, Christian Santos, of course, is still on the card. No word on that. We can expect that the most likely opponent for Thompson will be Nunes. Um, the most likely opponent for Santos will, of course, be Gina Carano. But of course, no word on that at the moment. So, um, I actually will have an agenda this time. I got those three down. Um, a recent development I like to go on with um, Kimbo Slice. We of course know that um, he hasn't fought. Of course, obviously, a lot of the LAXC fighters haven't fought since um, they went under. However, um, we just got recently got a hint of um, who he will possibly be fighting. There are um, oh yeah, we also got word that Seth Petrozelli is um, fighting in another card. I can't remember which promotion it's for, but obviously he's not fighting for Strike. He's either not fighting for Strike Force or they're lending him out like they like they have for many of the other um, fighters contracted. I know there's quite a few fighters fighting um, for the belt or fighting championships relatively soon. Fight Strike Force is lending them out. So, um, so that's all that. Kim Bo Slice um, is supposedly going to be. Um, there's talks right now about him fighting um, in a later this year in a uh, fight card in Seattle. His opponent is um, Seattle native and former NFL player Bob Sapp. Now for those of you who don't know, Bob Sapp um, started out fighting in pride. He, uh, of course being a football player, is like 300 some pounds. But he's like all muscle. You look at him, he's like a he's, it's, There's a reason why they call him the beast. Um, he's this big buff guy. Um, so, he's fought in quite a few um, MMA fights. I believe he has a 9-3-1 record right now in MMA. He's also fought in K-1 where he's like got a 10-7 record. So, um, he's had quite a bit of fighting experience. His last fight was um, in... His last fight was against... Um, Jan the Giant Norte in actually a Strike Force card. So, um, oh, and for those of you who don't know, he's fought primarily in Japan with um, K1. 
K1, as I say, he fought with Pride. Um, he's he fought with um, the early K1 experiments that eventually turned into Dream. He's actually fought in Dream since his last since his loss to Jan Jan Norte. So um, this was actually a fight that I have been hoping would happen since. Elite XC went under. I was thinking, you know, Kimbo is going to go to Japan. I was like, I put this fight on, put this fight on. Well, uh, Bob Sapp ended up fighting someone else, and I'm like, okay, no big deal. Oh, well, I thought, you know, it may just never happen. But then, of course, there's talks about this. So this would be, to me, the ultimate brawler match because you know you have Eli you have Kimbo Slice, Street Fighter, and if you watch Bob Sapp, he's primarily been a brawler in his, all of his fights, with especially with that bull rush, which he got from the NFL. So, um, that's, um, we talked about Kimbo Slice. Um, now, Frank Shamrock, after his fight with Nick Diaz, um, he's actually said that he would like to fight against his, um, uh, first of all, he and Ken Shamrock, his older or adoptive brother, have had a falling out for quite some time. The last time I think they actually had any kind of contact was in IFL when they um, when their coaching teams faced each other. Um, it was during that time that um, Shamrock's team lost, and um, or Frank's team lost, and eventually his team was just cut completely. So. Um, he said that he would actually like to fight Ken at some point, and personally, I think being the younger guy, even though he's smaller, yeah, he's got the age advantage. Um, Frank has not, Ken has not want to fight in three years or something like that. So, um, there's definitely an advantage there. He also said he'd like to fight Tito Ortiz as well. So a rematch with Tito Ortiz from their previous um, fight in the UFC. So um, there's that. Now um, on to the general MMA stuff. Um, recently, the U um, last week following the um, uh, UFC Fight Night uh, card, um, the UFC cut five of their fighters. Um, a couple of them you may know, a couple of you, uh, them you may not. Um, Rich Clemente, Christian Welish, Luigi Villarvante, Eddie Sanchez, and Derek Downey. Now, um, the two names that stick out for me the most are Rich Clemente and Luigi Villarvante fighting at, um, lightweight and welterweight, respectively. Um, I think that um, you could probably expect seeing those guys at, um, probably expect to see them at, um, fighting in strike force relatively soon. Um, UFC just has its ten, um, because of their rotating fighters in and out, getting new talent into the, um, into their undercards and also in the ultimate fighter, they of course need to cut fighters who just aren't doing too well. So, um, I think it would actually be beneficial, um, for most of those fighters who get cut to go to Strike Forcing, as how Strike Force is the second best promotion, and also they have, they're going to be doing a show similar to Show XC, which is showing developmental fighters. So, um, there's that, um, I'm running out of time right now, so I'm going to start Compacting UFC 95, Stevenson versus um, Sanchez. You have two ultimate fight uh, winners there. Um, my next few videos um, are probably going to be of uh, my teammates wrestling this weekend um, in the um, East NAI Regionals at Lindenwood. Um, I will not be competing, so. Um, I'm going to be shooting video of them instead. Okay, so um, that's that. Um, see you next time.